Hi guys, it's me again. So this time, I hadn't done an open cup pour in quite a while, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it on black. Um, and we're gonna use a lot of the same colors that we already had, probably all the same colors that we already had. So let's give this a torch. This is kind of an, a really neat technique, it's fun. So we put this right here, and we're gonna pour directly into that. I wanna start, actually I don't wanna use that one first. Let's use something we have a lot of. Let's use this red first. So what we're gonna do is just pour colors directly into here. Let's start with that red. Put a little white on top of that. Blue. Then we're going to add what little bit of green we have left. Just a tiny little bit of the green. All right, that's all of our green left. Let's put some black on top of it. We should be starting to see the color come out here shortly. I see some of it starting. You may not be able to see real well in the picture, in the camera, but I do see some starting. I'm gonna ask Rob to hook me up a shop light out here so that we can see better. And I'm gonna move this just a little bit. See if we can get it back up over here. Put some more white in there. Now this just may make a great big mess. It may be another canvas that I scrape, who knows? But it's gonna be fun playing with it. Look at the blue already in there. Some more gold. The rest of this red. It's kind of fun to take the different colors, the same colors, put them in a different way, add maybe one other like we did the black, and see what we get that way. That's the fun thing about abstract art, is that nobody can tell you what it's supposed to look like. It's all in what you see, in what your mood is that day, everything is to what we do. And right now I'm just doing this just to get rid of the excess paint. Because I don't like really wasting it. Look at that blue coming out there. Look at those colors. I think they're very pretty. A little more white. Then we'll put the gold on top. What little bit of gold we have left will go right there over the top. I'm just going to kind of move this around all over. I'm 
We'll see what we get there. That actually looks really cool. I love it when my little, I'm not really trying to do anything, but then it comes out so pretty and so unique. So I really like the way those cells are forming there and the different colors. Let's see what we have, torch here. See if we can bring out more cells without burning the paint. So a lot of air bubbles popping. That's where we're getting that white. So this blue here, there's this little right there like you guys can see my flame through there. Um, it's really spectacular looking. It's very shimmery. I'll bring it down here in just a minute and let you see it. That's really cool. Okay, let's bring you down and let you see what this looks like. Let me put a little bit of color right here on that edge after I had my hands all cleaned off. Can't use a popsicle stick. I think all the other edges are covered. Let me bring this back over here so I can clean my edges off. Let me clean my bottoms off my edges where the paint's all dripping down. Getting about time that I really clean my silicone liner off too. And maybe put down more pedal pads. All right, now let's try. Let's take you down and see what we've got here. I'm actually gonna take my gloves off because this is the last one today. All right, so there we go. So here's the spot that I was talking about. Look at that right there. Look how gorgeous that is, all those colors in there, how shimmery and metallic it ended up looking. Look at all that. Okay, if I do say so myself, as I keep practicing, these are getting better and better. And I'm getting much happier with them. I can't wait to see how this one dries. This may be a really good one to resin because of all the different colors and shimmers in it. May look really good when I resin it. I like that streak of white in there with the gold. All that. Okay, guys, I am probably about to lose battery powder in my phone. And then I have an assignment and interview to do with my mother. So you guys have a good day. Um, I'll do the same here. Hopefully we won't be stuck at home very long, very much longer. And this weekend, I think it's going to be clean up my workspace. All right. Love y'all. Have a good day. Bye.